Hello everyone, my name is Jafar and in the following video I will be showing you how to deploy hybrid apps on OpenShift. So first thing, what's a hybrid app in our context? It's uh, basically an application composed of several components, some of which are containers and others are virtual machines, traditional virtual machines running on OpenShift. And this is leveraging the new feature uh, of OpenShift virtualization that allows you to run natively uh, traditional VMs on top of OpenShift aside the containers. So that means that the VM is being seen as a first class resource of OpenShift and it's been using the networking and storage that I offered by default uh, with OpenShift. So in our case, the Windows VM will be exposing a service that allows us to communicate with the My, uh, MS SQL server and that's what the containerized application will be using to communicate uh, with, the, with the database. So let's have a look at the demo. So this is the developer perspective that comes with the OpenShift 4.5. And as you can see here, I have both uh, the containerized application and the virtual machine showing up in the UI. So they are really uh, considered as first class uh, citizen of OpenShift. So now if I wanted to have more info on the VM, I can just select it here and I can see that indeed it is exposing the SQL Server service. Uh, and I have also another one, which is the RDP. If I wanted to access the VM uh, from uh, a remote desktop uh, application. So uh, let's have a, a look at the VM. And I can see here that it is using some disks, which are basically persistent volumes attached to uh, the uh, VM. And I also have a very nice console that I can use to directly access the uh, VM from here. So this is very uh, convenient uh, to have both my VM and my containerized application within the same uh, working environment. So I can see here on the left side that I have the pods. So I can access my .NET pod from here, but I don't see anything showing the virtual machines. And with OpenShift 4.5, we added a very nice feature that allows you to customize uh, the left side menu. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna look for virtual machines and say that I want to add it to the navigation and there it is. I can now access my virtual machines or my pods as a so shortcut to the resources that I use the most. So now let's have a look at the application itself. Uh, this is a simple .NET application that connects to the SQL Server. And we're going to use uh, a new entry here. New or let's say OpenShift. virtualization rocks and there we go so how do i check that this has indeed been um, stored into the the db that runs within the vm so let's get back to my vm here and check the service so not only is it exposing the service for this 1433 port uh, to access the SQL Server from within the OpenShift cluster. But I also exposed a node port to make it available from outside of the cluster. Uh, and this is what I'm gonna use. I'm currently using the Azure Data Studio to connect uh, over the internet to the uh, remote SQL Server that runs within the virtual machine on OpenShift. And here I can browse the data and there I have my customers table. I'm going to edit the data from here. OK, and let's make a change and check that it's reflected in the application. There we go. We see that we have the modification. So that's it. As a wrap up, we've seen how we can deploy a hybrid app composed of both containerized components and virtual machines 
these virtual machines are really considered as uh, first class citizen and the way we did that is we are we created a custom resource definition of type virtual machine and we can now manage it as any other component that runs natively on OpenShift. So thank you very much. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the demo and uh, keep in touch.